Shalom. Brother Kabbalah, back now, GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing before any further. I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible. And who were well, I know I shall have one, I sincere Akim to what the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity, and now shall the one sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, not just hears of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, all for elect shall <clears throat> Um, not quite sure as well. I'm titled this lesson, but um, <clears throat> I was, you know, doing some thinking. I was in deep thought, and um, the scriptures are true, man. People are gonna uh, are gonna hate you for what you believe in. Which is the truth according to the Bible. All right. And, um, you know, the things that was written was written for our learning, you know, to, to kind of brace ourselves with the things that are going to happen when it comes to serving the Lord, man. All right. This is Luke 6 and 22. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. For the son of man's sake. That's right, man. It's a blessing, as it says in the NLT. Luke 6 and 22 in the NLT. What blessings await you when people hate you and exclude you and mock you and curse you as evil because you follow the son of man? <clears throat> and it's not just the men. You know, the women go through it. You know, the children that are... Trying to serve you, how about you shot to the best of their ability? They're, they're going through it. Okay. But it's a blessing. We're, we're, we're a favor in the eyes of the Lord. Because guess what? The servant is not greater than his master. You know, that you know, our people hated Yahweh Shai when he was on the scene who the world calls Jesus. Okay, that's his name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai, he delivered, he saves his people. Alright, Matthew 1 and 21. And um, they hated him, all right, wanted to push him off a cliff and wanted to destroy his character. I mean, you name it, all right? And the Lord, you know, in a sense, lived a, 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 a lonely life, okay? And coming in this truth and this knowledge and understanding, you have a, a light that's shining on you, man. And people see it and people don't like this light. Because the world is ran in wickedness and wickedness is promoted. Wickedness is rewarded and held in high esteem in this age because it's ran by the wicked Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So reading on Luke 6 and 23, rejoice. See, we're supposed to be rejoicing, we're supposed to be happy when these things are happening. You got to constantly remind yourself they don't feel good because you're in the flesh. You know, you get beat down from, from, from your job. You get beat down <clears throat> from, uh, you know, uh, 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 broken down from the, the, the foods. All right. Everything's tainted. Then you got to, you know, uh, deal with a nagging uh, 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 wife or baby mama or the kids don't want to listen to you. All right. And then you got to deal with the truth all on top of that. Look, the scripture says rejoice. Supposed to be happy. It says, Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. All right. So the ancient matter of fact, we'll read this in, in, in LT and break it down. It says, When the hat when this when that happens, be happy. Yes, leap for joy. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, their ancestors treated the ancient prophets the same way. They hated the prophets. All right. And the prophets today are hated. So if the Lord called you into this truth to, to prophesy or, you know, to uh, be a helper. Guess what? You're going to be hated, but your reward is great in heaven. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the kingdom. Pretty much, you know, you know, we're going to lose on this side. Until it's time for the Lord to uh, 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 um, 
you know, protect us during the time of Jacob's trouble. That's when you're going to see who the Lord has uh, is dealing with during the hour of temptation. Okay, that's C hip, the M O T to the B. You're going to see who the Lord is dealing with, man. And all the way up into the kingdom. So I know it's, it's hard, you know, it's tough, but look, I, I got to constantly remind myself, man, we are favored in the eyes of the Lord to go through these, uh, uh, these times that we're in because it's, it, it could be tough, right? Especially when you got uh, loved ones and family members that, you know, they don't know why they don't want to be around you or even look at you, right? It's all spiritual. It's all spiritual, man. Um, it's my last precept. Uh, is this what I want? No, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. Oh, what's that precept? Mm. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, 4 and 12. This is First Peter... Chapter 4, verse 12. Um, <clears throat> it says, Beloved, which is the elect, the hopeful elect, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials. Trial, which is to try you as some strange thing happened unto you. And yes, being hated of all men is a, a, a trial, a fiery trial that we must go through. All right, we're not going to always be hated forever. We're not going to always be wanting to be, uh, people want to get away from us. All right. There's going to come a time when these people are going to uh, 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 desire to be around us at all times. Especially during the time of Jacob's trouble. Because we're going to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Our baratas are to keep us stable, that we endure. It says, but rejoice, verse 13, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. Yeah, because... You know, the Lord suffered, his followers, his believers are going to suffer, man. That's just what it is. Suffer now or suffer with two-thirds, but you're going to suffer, man. And this truth is a lonely road. So it's lonely. You know, you got to get used to that. It says, partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. It says, if you be reproached for the name, the name is very important. Yahweh was shy. Happy are ye. Because, you know, that's one of the major reasons why people, you know, want to separate from you and, and have a dis, uh, dislike for you. Because they're so used to JC. They're so used to Jesus Christ. Right? When you come in the name of Yahweh was shy. Hey, look, man. A lot of our people don't like that name. But guess what? The scriptures say the name of the Lord is dreadful to the heathen. All right? The actual heathen are these other nations, but also two-thirds of the nation of Israel. Because they're in a heathenistic state of mind. So it reads on. It says, For the spirit of the glory and of the of Yahweh resteth upon you. Yeah, so we're supposed to be uh, happy when we're being reproached for the name of the Lord. Because the spirit and glory of Yahweh Bashim Abishai rests upon you, as the scriptures say. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. And we are glorifying Yahweh Bashim Abishai, uh, as we're supposed to be doing, man. Even in these heartaches and these pains, these trials, these tribulations, you know, uh, being separated, you know, from y y your loved ones and things of that nature. Hey, look, man, we're supposed to be glorified. And like I said, it's tough because it's in the flesh, but guess what? There's a reward at the end of this thing. <clears throat> but anyways, I just want to touch on that. Um, just want to do a quick hit. You know, Lord willing, that's edifying. Just keep fighting, keep believing, keep the faith. All right. You know, we're going to uh, suffer, but it's, it's not forever. You know, we're going to be hated. But guess what? It's not forever. It's just a period of time. Shalom.